The Born Again shell, known as Bash, has a lot of great features that it borrows from other shells and even from some programming languages. It was created in the late 1980s in a response to a lacking in the current available shells on Berkeley Distributions BSD, and the predecessor to Linux GNU. Bash features numerous inbuilt features such as inline scripting capabilities like brace expansion, which we are going to examine today. Let's get started. Support Putorius by subscribing to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Brace expansions are tools that permit the generation of a range of strings to be used on the command line. They follow the grammar of prefix, range, postfix. Both pre and postfixes are optional as the range can act alone. Brace expansion will help you become more efficient on the command line. It will also save you lines of code in your shell scripts and make them easier to read. The best way to introduce you to Brace expansion is with a scenario. Many system administrators work with files and folders on the command line daily. They may need to create a set of folders to organize your files, logs, outputs, or projects into discrete folders. The hang-up is the burdensome repetition of the folder creation loop. Using bash brace expansions you can create the folders in our last example a lot more efficiently. Here we are using a sequence expression notated by the two dots. This tells the shell to create the folders 1 through 9 sequentially. As you can see, this creates 9 directories named 1 through 9. That is much easier than the manual file creation process shown in the first example. There are more useful cases in which you might use brace expansion. In this example we are creating folders for log files or for data dumps. This example also brings to light nested bracing. Nested bracing is when you have a brace expansion inside of another. Here we have a non-sequential brace expansion to create the directories for each month. Inside of that we have a sequential brace expansion to create directories for each day in that month. Let's take a look at another example of sequential bracing. In this example, we use brace expansion to create a file named log.daily in each of the subdirectories in January. Brace expansion permits steps by any sequentially occurring data, such as letters and numbers. The expansions can increment in either the incrementing or decrementing directions, and can include negative numbers. Letters are also accepted. We have now covered using brace expansions for sequential tasks, for example creating folders 1 to 9. However, it can also be used for non-sequential items as well. The non-sequential expression is created by using a comma to separate the items. Let's look at an example. Let's pretend you had a fruits directory and you wanted to create 5 folders named after your favorite fruits inside. You could just run the mkdir command multiple times like so. To be more efficient you can use non-sequential brace expansion to generate all the files in one command. This is especially handy when you need to work with files that have long paths. Here you can see we achieved the same result by using non-sequential brace expansion. Brace expansions are not limited to simple letters and numbers, you can get really creative, but I am using simple conventions for ease of demonstration. Implemented correctly, it can make you more efficient on the command line, your shell scripting more concise and easier to read, and it'll save you time and keystrokes. You can find a written version of this article at the link in the description. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos.